Hi everybody, my name is Richard McMahon from the Psychometric Testing Company, mypsychometrictest.com, and in this tutorial, I'm going to help you prepare for and pass an analogy test. So in particular, I'm going to give you a number of questions, um, tips and tutorials on how to answer these and get the higher scores possible, and then more importantly, I'm going to get you to try some of these live right here on YouTube. So please do stick around and watch it from beginning to end. Um, my name is Richard McMahon. That's me there in the center, the bald chap with no hair. And in this tutorial, I'm going to give you practice test questions to try yourself. Please do subscribe by clicking the red button below the video. And I would also very, very much appreciate it if you gave the video a like. Thank you very much. So first and foremost, what is an analogy test? What is it? Well, basically, in this type of test, you and I are presented with two words, and I'll give you an example of those in a second. Now, it is then our job to choose another pair of words which we're given with the same relationship. So that's the important bit. Let me just quickly repeat that. So in this type of test, you and I are given two words. It's then our job to choose another pair of words from the options available that have the same kind of relationship. What do I mean by that? Let's have a look at question one. So, we're presented with two, we uh, two, two wheels, two words, car and wheels. Then we're given multiple choice options, and there's usually four of them. A is truck and load. B is boat and sail. C is sky blue. And D is restaurant and eat. Now, upon initial inspection, these look quite confusing. However, if we look at the relationship between car and wheels, we can see it's a functional relationship. So what I mean by that is the car cannot function without the wheels. So that's the relationship. We determine the relationship first of all, and then look for the options with the exact same relationship. So a car needs the wheels to function, and looking from the other examples, if you look at A, a truck can function without a load, sky can function without being blue, and a restaurant can function without people eating. So the answer is boat and sail, because a boat needs the sail in order to function. So the correct answer is B. So it's very simple once you understand the need to look for that relationship. Let's take a look at one more before getting you to try some of these questions live on YouTube. Question two, tree and leaves. Is it A, man, woman, B, duck, feathers, C, water swim, or D, carpet clean. So the relationship is a parts relationship, which means leaves form part of a tree and feathers form part of a duck. So the answer is B. Okay, now it's your turn. Please put your answer to question three in the comments section below the video for marking, and we'll come on here each day and answer them for you. Now on the right-hand side, I've provided you with a timer. You've got 10 seconds to answer this question. So question number three, the analogy test, waiter and restaurant. Is it A, nurse, patient, B, tennis, ball, C, politician, <clears throat> liar, or D, teacher, school? So what's the correct answer? You've got the time it takes the timer to go down to the bottom to put your answer in the comments section below the video. Okay, well done. Hope you got that um, correct. Don't forget to put your answer in the comments section below. Try another one, try another one. Please put your answer to question four in the comments section below the video for marking. Here we go. Question four, this is a bit harder. Mirror and look. Is it A, jeans wear, B, shoes leather, C, money rich, or D, light bright? It's a tough one. Let's see if you get this right. Please put your answer to question four in the comments section below. Here's your timer. Okay, brilliant. Well done. Now let's move on to a couple more. By the way, when we're doing these test questions, if you need a little bit more time, because that, that 10 seconds is quite harsh, you'll get a little bit more than that in the real test. But it's good to practice under pressure. But if you need more time, just pause the video. Okay, here's another one. Question five. Police arrest. Is it A, weak day, B, brown color, C, air invisible, or D, waitress serve? So what kind of relationship is it? Again, it's a functional relationship because the police arrest people and 
a waitress serves people. So we're just looking for that collective relationship. What relationship is it? So the answer there is D. Okay, now it's your turn again. Please put your answer to question six in the comments section below for marking. Here we go. Chicken grain. Is it A, whale, plankton? B, cat, dog? C, bird or B? Or D, fish, net? Here's your timer. Okay, brilliant. Well done. Right, what I want to do now, because I think you're getting the hang of these, is let's do an analogy mock test. So I'm going to give you three analogy test questions for you to try again under time conditions. They're quite difficult. So put your answers to the questions in the comments section below for marking. So you've got three questions coming, and I'll just work through all three of them. So here we go. Question number seven of your mock test. Labrador dog. Is it A, cheese grater? B, car, petrol, C, Burmese, cat, or D, jeans, fabric. Here's your timer. Okay, question number eight. Grass, green. Is it A, kitchen, sink, B, bath, water? C, male, female, or D, sky, blue. What's the relationship? Please put your answer in the comments section below for marking, please, to question eight. Here's your time. Brilliant. Question number nine. Tough one. Let's see how many of you get this correct. Lake, ocean. Is it A, carpenter, wood? B, solicitor, court, C, pebble, boulder, or D, golf, golfer? Please put your answer to question nine in the comments section below. Here's your timer. Brilliant. Okay, I hope you enjoyed those. If you would like more free tests to try of a similar nature, you want my psychometric testing suite, click the link right now in the top right hand corner, take you through to my website, mypsychometrictests.com, and you can access my online suite. You can practice questions like this and other psychometric test questions to help you pass your test using your smartphone, your iPhone, whatever it is you've got, um, your iPad or your Mac or your laptop. They work on all of them under time conditions, full explanations provided. I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Um, please don't forget to put your answers below in the comment section below. Say hi. Um, yeah, I love creating these for you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you. Thank you very much. You have a great day and I wish you the best for passing your psychometric test. Thank you very much.